Actually, just going to be a general full review of Xbox One Smart Glass for Windows 8. I'm running it on Windows 8.1, but I think it should work on Windows 8 also. If you can't, uh, Windows 8.1 is a free update. You just go to the store and you can find uh, the update right there if you have everything fully updated on your computer. Um, but here's Xbox One Smart Glass. Uh, for starters, uh, let me give you guys a heads up. Uh, where I am currently on this campus, I'm not able to get access to the internet on the Xbox One, so uh, because I guess Xbox One does not allow like enterprise networks on it, so I can't really do anything. Uh, so every a lot of features on here that I'm trying to, I would want to show you guys, I'm not able to show you guys because of that. So for instance, my last app that I was on was not Friends; it was actually like um, I think Killer Instinct. So as you can see, the recent app, the last time I was online, I was able to, I was on Friends because I was checking out my Friends feed. But on top of that. Uh, here it is. Here's the main screen of Xbox One Smart Glass. As you can see here in this little section here, you have my profile stuff. And another heads up, uh, I'm not going to show you guys these two tabs, mainly because uh, I have friends on there that their names and stuff and their messages, they probably don't want people to see them. So I'm just going to leave that these two sections alone. But I will tell you that if you click on the friends one, on this side right here, if you just imagine it, close your eyes, just you know, take a deep breath like you're doing yoga or something uh, or meditating. Uh, on, if you click, if you click on friends, and you, you see right here, normally there would be a um, a friends activity, and friends activity is just your acti is the friends activity feed uh, that allows you to see what your friends are doing on their Xbox 360 or Xbox One. So if my friend was jumping onto GTA 5, I could see that they played, they were they were, they jumped into GTA 5, and I could see how long ago they were doing it, and you know what they were doing previously and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's more like it's not exactly a thing that you can put a status update, but you can just see what they were up to uh, lately on their Xbox, what you know, what they were doing. Uh, and then messages is just messages. It just shows you know, about a square, about this big, across the whole screen, each person and their message. And nice clean layout. So it's a pretty nice thing like that. But if we click on uh, you know, my profile thing, you can see uh, you can see the general synopsis of what my profile consists of on this application my reputation, how many friends I have, how many followers I have. Now you might notice what is followers now? They have followers on Xbox Live? Uh, followers is just people, the total number of people who uh, okay, better, better yet, followers is people who you have friended or yeah, who have friended you but you have not friended back. So as you can see, uh, I have more followers than friends. That means if you subtract these two numbers, I'm not even going to attempt it. Actually, you know what? That's that's five. So that means there are five people that have have that have added me as a friend, but I didn't friend back. So they become followers, but they're not on my friends list. So if that was if that made any sense, then there it is. Uh, recent activity. You can see what your recent activity was on this application. So if I was to say jump into Rise right now, and I had internet access, you can see my recent activity was. Rise, Son of Rome, uh, say VA Legend 93, you played Rise, Son of Rome. Uh, so that was something really simple. And then here's a cool section of the area. Uh, one of my favorites is the game DVR feature that everyone's heard of on from E3 like two years ago and this last year. It uh, allows you to record I think like 10 or 30 seconds of your gameplay, your last gameplay. Uh, so you can see uh, maybe right here, if you were to see... Uh, what I was doing on Dead Rising. This is a complete fail clip because I was just testing it out and here it is.
So as you can see right there, I pretty much completely failed at that mini game on Dead Rising 3. I have completed it recently, uh, did get a lot better at the game. This was like near the beginning, but that's a little example of game clips on uh, you know Xbox One Smart Glass. Uh, you can view them on your Xbox One, you can view them on um, whatever Xbox One Smart Glass uh, app you have on whatever device. Actually, there's only one, so why am I saying that? But you can view them on whatever uh, device you have that has Xbox One Smart Glass and you signed into it. Um, here you can see achievements. Uh, again, uh, last when I got this game, I wasn't I, I was here, so I didn't get access to internet like I still don't have. So you can't see any of my achievements, unfortunately. But achievements will be listed here in a nice uh, format, just a nice list grid format. Uh, you might see these three dots here. These three dots allow you to expand how many clips you've done. So uh, just for the lulls, let's view another game clip. So let's let's view let's view this one. So as you can see right there, that was from the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag gameplay. That was actually my very first game that I got for the Xbox One, until recently where I got some others. But that's essentially what you get in your profile view. You get your my game clips, you get your achievements, your recent activity, and your basic information about uh, how many friends you have and your reputation. So back to the main screen. Uh, if we go back to the main screen and go to the left side, uh, you can see here that I have pins here. And what pins are essentially just shortcuts to other applications. So for instance, Skype, and these are all the pins that I have personally that I use the most often, including especially Killer Instinct. That is a great game. Uh, and it's free too. Uh, but these are essentially the game clips that I have. I'm not the game clips, the pins that I have. Uh, you can customize these however you want. So, for instance, if you want to get rid of Killer Instinct, which actually that's a fairly, fairly good thing to do. So, let me just, if I want to get rid of Connect Sports Rivals, I can click on it. And then actually, the Connect Sports Rivals preseason. I can click on it and hit unpin. And it'll get rid of it right now. There it is. It's gone. Now there's an empty void space right there. So, now, if I want to say add Need for Speed Rivals to it, I can hit pin on Need for Speed Rivals, and then now we see Need for Speed Rivals has taken up a spot in the pin list. Also, if you want to view how you pin it, if you're just at the marketplace browsing, I'll show you in a second. But this is essentially how it would look like for games, separate games themselves. So you can see it has the games box art. Um, it also has the unpin button or pin button, depending on what you choose. It's got the help button, which is essentially it'll take you whether whether the game has a uh, smart class companion app or not this one doesn't it'll still launch what they call a smart class companion app but all of this is is just for the help screen just to see you know if you need help on the game guide or whatever it is not game guide but like the the little booklet they put in front of your xbox uh, 360 games and all your video games that you get uh, that's essentially all it is when you click on help um, it's pretty much just like the manual there you go and then you can see add-ons if you want to add buy the add-on you can actually get on xbox one when you click on Get on Xbox One, it doesn't actually allow you to purchase it in this application. It makes you actually uh, go to it on your Xbox Marketplace, on your uh, console itself. There you can purchase it. So that's a little different. I kind of wish that you could purchase it directly from this application. Maybe type in your password. That way, uh, every time you do a purchase, you're secure and your child can't actually buy stuff on accident from you. Um, not from you, but you know for you. Otherwise, you'd be like in debt by like thousands of dollars. Especially with those gamer children nowadays, <laughs> I'm not. I'm only 20 years old, so I can't really say anything about that. Um, uh, achievement progress is here next. Um, you can see the achievements that I've recently gotten. I'm actually surprised that it's actually showing me the achievements here, but it's probably because um, I, when I got on Xbox Live, I tried going online on this game, so it probably I probably was able to sync my progress to here, so that way I could see my achievements on here. So you can see that. Uh, if we go over to game clips, here's other people's game clips. You can actually access other people's game clips if you click on the game instead of your profile. So if we want to view someone else's game clip, we can view it about now. So let's try, let's, let's just look at this top one. Now we'll start just outside. You have two pursuit tech slots available. 
When you've earned enough speed points, select a slot to buy and equip Pursuit Tech for each of your vehicles. This is where you make your car your own. So as you can see right there, um, the game actually, the video actually is over. Here's actually the video screen of what it looks like, um, but that was a quick glimpse at it. It's a pretty straightforward thing you can scrub through at the bottom if I can get back into it, which I can. But I'm not going to play that video game because that wasn't very eventful. Um, I'm not even going to click on this because that would make my video just go on for forever if I kept clicking on game clip. But after you, when, while you're on your uh, game screen, whatever game you're on, you can see related games. Uh, for instance, it uh, looks like the most related game would be Forza 5, which no, no doubt it would be because it's a racing game. But other games here that I guess are popular are you know, Call of Duty Ghost, Killer Instinct, Rise, Battlefield 4, and Xbox Fitness. Um, and then here are some images. These images, I will have to tell you that these images, uh, compared to the Xbox 360, uh, where they had the images screen on the um, Xbox Marketplace for various games. These images are actually pretty true to life. The game really does look like this. Not exactly like this one so much, because obviously you get the HUD over here. But for the most part, this game is actually pretty gorgeous. Um, most, of the, most of the clips, actually, uh, sorry, not most of the clips, most of the images that you'll see for the games, the games actually do look like that. Um, it's, it's almost exactly, especially Rise. In fact, this one is especially something that the game looks exactly like. I remember, um, you know, the, the way that the um, textures for the road actually look like and the cars look like. So expect that kind of graphic quality. If you don't have an Xbox One already and you've just seen videos, uh, this is exactly how the, um, the game looks like. It's not some uh, pre-rendered CGI. So let's hit the X button to get out of here. And if we see related again, we see all that stuff. Um, images, and you can see the publisher information when it came out, what genre it's in, if it has multiplayer, co-op, whatever it is. You get all that information there. So let's go back home and finish up this review. This review has been probably like 15 minutes, I'm not even sure, but last thing that you can get access to is search. Again, if we want to search, we can search for Rise. Sorry, that was my chapstick, it just dropped. Uh, we can search for Rise again. I think I, I don't, I'm not sure if I even really did this. I've re-recorded this video like three times already. Uh, but you can see for Rise here, there's quite a lot of stuff for it. Um, for instance, if we want to click on this um, Rise Son of Rome, I'm not sure what this is, Season Pass, you can do that. And again, it'll jump you into your Xbox One screen of Rise Son of Rome allowing you to purchase the Season Pass. Microsoft, if you're hearing me this, uh, please allow you to purchase things from the app itself so you don't have to look away from the screen. Uh, please allow you to do that. Just include the password thing like Windows Store does. But aside from that, that pretty much sums it up for Xbox One Smart Glass. There isn't too, too much you can do. One thing that I will tell you guys is if you're playing music on your Xbox One, you will be able to view the information of the music down here. Uh, another menu, the little three dots that you see a lot all around the application will show up and you can see uh, what song you're playing and things like that. So that's a pretty cool feature that they have. But aside from that, this has been a review, a full review, hands-on review of Xbox One Smart Class for Windows 8.1. Uh, I'm saying 8.1 because that's what I'm running. Uh, feel free to let me know if it does run on Windows 8. That way other people can see your comment and it can just go up to the top so people, if they have that question, they'll know that that's the answer to it. So again, this has been Quake U from Next Gen Windows, bringing you a full review on Xbox One Smart Glass for Windows 8.1. It's free on the Windows Store right now, and you can pretty much get it on every platform available, except for Linux and, and BlackBerry and, and Mac right now. So uh, yeah, you should go check it out, get it right now. If you don't have an Xbox One, uh, you can just see an example of kind of how the interface looks like on the Xbox One's uh, screen uh, with this application. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, inbox me. Uh, feel free to follow on Twitter, NextGenWindows, at which is at NextGenWindows, sorry. And also feel free to drop an email at uh, NextGenWindows, dot, NextGenWindows at gmail.com. I'm kind of twisting up my words now. Uh, this has been Quake Connect from NextGenWindows, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.